again we're gonna be doing the space tour i just did the daylight thing with freaking charging shock and uh cheap cheap i don't freaking remember oh island cheap cheap island so that's all you really missed i gotta say yesterday's stream was pretty good i got to play a lot of mario 2 and this game so hopefully we'll continue and this time play a lot of mario 3 Anyway, we got freaking Wei Yoshi, Ooh, pipe cart thing, and coins. Oh yeah, I gotta post this in my server too. Okay, back. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ouch. That sucks. I gotta go get them for that. I'm gonna get you, you little... there. True, I know, right? It gets so many tracks in this freaking game. For a hot fox or something. Let's go. True, true. I don't like when they make the tracks like that. They're too simple. Then again, some tracks I just feel don't work in this game. Like freaking DK Mountain. I like that track in the freaking actual Mario Kart, but in, like this game, I don't know. I just, the turns are so awkward and annoying for Mario Kart Tour. It just doesn't feel right. Oh, nice. It feels weird. Also, I'm happy... Oh, wait, sorry, my mic turned off. I'm happy to see that you're interested in Persona 5. Because that's a really good game.
always good to always excited to see to hear about whenever people are interested in games that I don't hear everybody talking about on my server because like I get to see all new perspectives and like brand new like takes on stuff that's you know that's a lot like when I first played the game and I was excited about it you know I like passing on the torch like a bunch of kind of stuff that's kind of my thing really I do that with a lot of things I like because I, I just like seeing what other people think about the same things I love, you know? You know, if people somehow just don't like the same things about something, like, I mean, it's interesting to just see what other, you know, what everyone thinks about a thing. That you like and appreciate, that I like and appreciate it for different ways than, than like, other people might. You know? It's always cool stuff. It's kind of like that with me and my nephew too, where I show him like a bunch of games that I like, and like he likes some of the games too, and whatever. Honestly, to me, it's kind of an RPG that a lot of people can get behind. Like, even Scott the Was, like, even Scott the Was, like, thought Persona 5 was cool. He, he said it on one of his videos, so, like, I don't know. Also, yeah, Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road is two laps instead of just the whole, like, they just broke it up into two different laps, and you go across the whole course once, instead of just doing the whole course, you know, twice with, you know, a big track. But, I mean, I didn't think it was that big of a track, personally. I don't know why they did it like that, but, I mean, I guess that's fair. Anyway, I don't play RPGs, like, a bunch a bunch either, other than, like, the Kingdom Hearts games, which... To me, are kind of different from your average RPG. I don't know. At least to me, they're action RPGs, so they it is like I don't know. I I just feel like maybe I just like action RPGs more. But at the same time, I don't know. Cause I really like Mar pa Persona. is kind of like a classic type of RPG, but it doesn't feel like overly complicated, and it's kind of like Pokemon. In a way. In a way, it's like Pokemon. In a lot, in a lot of ways, it, it isn't really like Pokemon at all. But basically, you're collecting these little things called personas, and then you can only keep up to like ten of them, and then you throw them away once they're too weak or whatever, and then keep getting stronger and better ones. And you can also like use them and stuff. And that's just talking about just like the dungeon stuff. Like the combat feels really fun. But that's, like, only half of the game. Like, the other half is, like, the the story and, like, life, social life, as, you know, the social life simulator-ish aspects of the game, which makes up the other half. And it all feels, like, really well blended together and makes the world just feel that much more alive. And, like, it just feels like there's always something cool to do. And, like, things to see in the game. Like, each in-game day you go through. As part of the story. Like, it's just... It's kind of hard to really put into words everything that's great about it. But there's so much... So much good to say about it, really. It is really fun. Yeah, basically, there's, like, an in-game calendar... And as you go through the story, and there's like, uh, you do stuff in the afternoon, and then you do stuff at night. And then the day passes again. And then it repeats. Oh wait, you BRB'd already. I probably shouldn't have kept talking, but whatever. Anyway, Dr. Mario. Um... Freaking the horse cart thing, red shells. 
Gotta change my balloons again. Oh, that's good. That's good, man. Coffee fan, eh? What kind of coffee do you like? I don't really drink coffee, but my my family is like very pro coffee, so I know a lot of quite a bit about it. At best, I get the freaking Pokemon Go Frappuccino at Starbucks. That's a thing. It's like mixed berries with like milk, I think, and like something else. I don't know, it has a good berry taste to it. I like the flavor. They don't really properly have it on a menu now, but you can just say it was some specific, like, ingredients, and it's basically the same thing as a Pokemon Go Frappuccino. I just don't remember how you order it exactly, like, what you would say to get it. That is pretty good, though, in my opinion. I like sweet stuff like that, so. Like, I have smoothies a lot now, and those are pretty good. Speaking of sweet stuff, Team Sweet won in Splatoon. So for once, my hard work paid off, and my team won. Feels good to be sweeping. Bro, I'm, I'm beating everyone up. Oh, I got the super horn. I can... I can kill someone. But where are they? Oh, Dr. Wario is behind me. Wario. I gotta go get ya. Bro. Okay, well, you didn't even get done in by me. That's fair. It's good to be open-minded about, you know, things. True enough. Where the heck am I? Wait. Does it just bring me to the next uncompleted thing now? Because that's pretty helpful if so. Oh wait, no. I just did rainbow run. I don't know what's happening. I kind of just blew through that cup really easily. And now I'm on this one already. Oh, let's see, we got, um... Oh, Blonde Rose. Never heard of that, but both of those sound pretty good. But, um, yeah, true. Coffee can cause anxiousness, I think, so that's fair. That's pretty interesting. Pokemon drink is really good. Yeah, I agree. Turbo Birdo! Just, just frickin' buy everything. I have the monetary powers to do so. Where's the buy all button? That's my next request for this game. Dang. That's, that's fair. I like hot cocoa. Hot cocoa's good. Get the rubies.
Okay, Ring Wraith. Toad. Okay. Let's get going. I like how the thwomps just shine rainbow. It's pretty funny looking. Oh crap. That's fine. I should still be able to complain it easily. Maybe. Perhaps. Don't actually know. Oh, yeah. Honestly, they weren't really that Nintendo themed. I mean, from what I had, like, I, I, I remember I tried one of the Cold Stone Creamery Mario things when it came out. It was pretty good. It just kind of just felt like ice cream, but it had a Mario cup. Actually, I still have the cup, one of the cups for it in my, two of the cups for it in my room. Let me just go pull that out. Um, frickin', uh, wait, where are they, anyway? Must be on my floor. It felt somewhere. Um, oh, here they are. Yeah, they fell down. They got pretty cool designs, though. Um, I got this freaking cup with art from freaking Mario 3. We got freaking Mario Sunshine pissed off, Mario Render. Love that. We got Builder Mario from Mario Maker 2. Uh, oh yeah, we got friggin' uh, Super Mario Advanced Mario artwork here. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And then for this one, we got um, Spray Piranha Plant. Uh, wait, what is that? Some random symbol? Yeah, I love all the different renders too. It makes them seem pretty cool. Mario World, Yoshi, Mario, of course. You got this cool render of Mario from Sunshine. And uh, honestly, I don't really see that render much, but it that's all that's honestly one of my favorite renders from the game. And then we got freaking Super Mario Party Mario with the dice block because I don't know why not. Don't know why they went with Super Mario Party when all the other ones were from main game slash Mario Maker, but I mean it's a good render. So, fair enough. But yeah, pretty cool looking cups, I gotta say. Also in the background, I don't know if it's like visible. Probably not. I mean, it's like really far off, but I have the Mario... I have the My Nintendo and Mario Anniversary, both pin sets from that too. The Kirby flavors look awesome, I agree. Last I heard, I think they added Kirby Cafe to Universal, too. To the Nintendo theme park, but I don't really remember. Yep, though, it's true. <laughs> Excuse me. Bruh, they got a freaking Moo Moo Cow me suit. De bro, what? You what's wrong with you? What? I've never heard of anyone that does not like bananas. Maybe like they don't like banana flavored things potentially, but I don't know anyone that hates bananas. What the heck, bro? Donkey Kong would be ashamed of you, man. Bro, bro. Okay. Got gold PD over here. Okay. Well, 
let's freaking go. Never was a huge fan of this track whenever it would show up in other Mario Kart games, but it's okay in this one, I guess. All the... Bro, are you freaking joshing me right now? Just, just no. No! You gotta give them another chance. Maybe, kid, you have some tra banana related trauma, and I'm sorry for it, but. Sometimes you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, when I was a kid, I used to just hate freaking. I hated tacos for some reason. I don't know if I even ever had a taco, I just didn't want them. I don't know why. And I didn't like him. I didn't like freaking cheese. I didn't even like burgers. For some reason, like, I don't know, like, I was like, no, I don't want to burn, I don't know. And I also didn't like turkey, for some reason. Like, Thanksgiving turkey. I guess I just saw the turkey on the table and thought it looked unappealing for whatever reason, but now I just like all those things, and like, I don't know. Like, as soon as I, like, turned 11 or something, I suddenly, I liked Burger King burgers. I thought they were, like, pretty good at that point. For, for no particular reason. I was just like, you know what, Burger King has good burgers. <laughs> I don't know why. But I feel like I like Wendy's more now. All of the big three names. Speaking of Mario and fast food, recently I got all the frickin', uh, whatchamacallit, all the new Mario movie toys. Bro, that's fair. The trauma was too much for the poor bananas, I'm sorry, man. Don't like pickles? Well, I guess that's fair. I used to just order with no pickles. Now I kind of just... I don't mind them. It just depends on how the pickles are, I guess. Like, some pickles I can just be like, Okay, you know, that's fine. Others, I'm just like... I'd take them off if I don't feel like having them on there. So, like, nothing really lost. The bo Oh yeah, the Bowser one's really cool. You know, I'm gonna pull a couple off on the shelf. Let's just show them off. Why not? Okay, um, here's a couple of them. I didn't feel like taking them all off because some of them are in different spots, but uh, I got this Bowser one. He's pretty cool. Though I don't like how his spikes are colored green. It's a little bit weird. Um, also, he looks kind of funny when the flame is not inserted. I mean, just look at that face. But he's really cool. And then... Oh yeah, I have, all the, I have all the toys except for the blue Luma one because he's rare, which, I mean, makes sense because he's not even a character they showed in any trailers yet, so I I, I, I I can see why he'd be sought after. This Donkey Kong one is pretty cool, not gonna lie. And then we got a freaking this Mario coming out of the pipe one. I like that one. He looks pretty cool. Bruh. It, it, the peach one, she's just kind of standing there, I guess. And, like, this Luigi is pretty cool, I guess. He has a neat little flashlight. I think, as, like, little figures that you can keep on your shelf, they're pretty cool. Just, most of them don't really have much, like, you know, of your typical kind of, like, fast food type of Yo, that toy can, like, shoot something, or a projectile, or, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I don't think that the Bowser can even fire this thing. I don't know how to do it anyway. Like, you just turn the frickin' fire around. There's not even, like, a shoot button, I think. Like, there's nothing like that. Like, the, 
The toys kind of just look cool. For me, that's enough, because I don't, you know... I, I wouldn't really play with them, but... I guess for a kid, maybe they'd be slightly disappointed. There's not much... There's not more utility to them. Other than, I mean... You could still do action figure stuff if you're, like, creative. Like, I used to just play around with stuff like that, but... To be fair, Yoshi doesn't really seem like he's necessarily a character in the movie so far. All we know is that the Yoshi species itself will appear, but, like, we don't know of any big Yoshi character. I feel like maybe they'll save that for the sequel, which I assume might be based on Mario Galaxy, but I don't actually know anything. I feel like Luma will be, like, a big after-credits reveal character, along with, like, Rosalina, but I don't actually know. Because, like, they seem to be hinting towards Mario Galaxy stuff, judging by the trailer. Like, they said galaxies and stuff, and they, they showed a shot of space. Maybe the next movie will have, like, them expand, and then there will be, like, oh, planets and more stars and stuff. I don't know. And then they'll just mesh together a bunch of kind of different plot elements. Kind of like how the Sonic movies kind of just merge together a bunch of stuff, like... Like, Sonic 2 is, like, Sonic 2 and 3 combined. And, like, they just threw together Sonic Meeting Tales, and then the... frickin' Death Egg Robot, and, and Knuckles, and the Emerald, all in, like, one story. Just meshed together. True, true. I, like... I have a, a good assortment of stuff on my Mario shelf, slash my Sonic shelf, and other, like, my shelf full of Amiibos and stuff. Most of them are kind of just littler stuff, kinds of, like, figures, but I still like them all the same. Like, it feels like Mario, the shelf. Like, I got, I got a little something from, like, each base of the Mario franchise, basically. Like, I have some WarioWare, um, get-it-together pin set I got from my Nintendo, because it was, like, the only WarioWare merchandise I really do of that would, that came over here. I thought that was really cool. Like, WarioWare gets, like, freaking nothing over here. And then I have the King K. Rule Amiibo and this Donkey Kong figure now on my shelf. Um, so there's some Donkey Kong stuff. Oh yeah, I also have a Diddy Kong Amiibo, but that's in my Amiibo little, like, black holder thing in the background. You can kind of see it, but it's pretty far off, so I don't know if you can actually make out which Amiibos. I mean, not Amiibo, sorry. It's not plural. You don't say it like that, it's just Amiibo. Which Amiibo you can see back there? But it's cool that you can see it in the distance, even if you can't really make out which ones. So that's back there. I also have a shelf with more Amiibo on the like top left of my room. I have like all the Smash DLC characters up there and stuff. Released so far. I should I should show you some pictures later if you're interested. Pretty cool shelves. Yoshi in the pink flames car. Honestly, for the longest time, I didn't really have any merchandise related to Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong stuff. So I wanted to make up for that a little bit. The King K. Rule Amiibo was a highly sought-after item for me that one of my brothers, thankfully, got for me. Because, like, he was kind of rare and hard to find, but I really wanted him because, like, I had every other freaking Smash Ultimate character. But I just, we, you know, we just could never find King K. Rule. And that was, like, the one I, like, really, really wanted because it's King K. Rule. Like, he, he's my, my guy and my main. He's a cool. So, I got him several Christmases ago. And he was awesome. 
And I got a lot of, like, plushies and stuff like that, too, because, you know, I, like, I love plushies. I, I always been into collecting, like, Mario and, like, Kirby stuff since I was, like, 10. And, like, they finally started releasing, like, stuff like the freaking Santa Mario plushies on, like, Amazon and stuff. And now they're just widely available in stores, too. Like, back then, it was really hard to just go in a store and you, you, like, find, like, Mario and, like, other video game characters you really like. And it, just in the store. Nowadays, it's so... It's it's way it's way more better. It's way better. It's more amazing. You can just find Mario stuff at a freaking Target. If you really like Mario, there's options for you in the current day. Kid me would have been really happy about it. So I'm happy to you know have stuff like that because you know it's stuff that I didn't I didn't really get to have as you know I didn't I mostly didn't really get to see as a kid. I mean, there would be some Mario, like, candies and crap like that sometimes, but not really much in the way of, like, action figures or stuffed animals other than, like, the frickin' crappy, like, the Kelly Toy Carnival Prize plushies. <laughs> well, they're not crappy. I actually, I actually like them a lot. They, they're charming, and it feels like the Mario 64 era design plush form. I just, you know, the plushes they have right now are really cool, too. I actually like those kinds of unique old plushes, too. Because they feel a little bit off-model, but that makes them charming. Because, like, everything now is just, like, focused on being accurate. Which, I mean, you want a plush of your guy, that's fair. I can understand the need to have accurate stuff. But also, it's, it's fun when they, like go a little bit off model to make them funny in plush form. A lot of interesting stuff. I'm just kind of crashing into them. A lot of interesting stuff. If you're interested in like video game plushes and stuff, I highly recommend the freaking Pat Mac, Pat Mac YouTube channel. He just like talks about a bunch of like old video game plush lines and stuff like that. It's actually really interesting. Like, he talks about, like, the history of them, and, like, the materials each one has and stuff, and, like, their size. I don't know. Pretty cool stuff. And, like, the rarity of each plush in the set, and, like, things like that. And he also does videos on other random topics, like the freaking all the Pikachus at the Macy's Day Parade, or, like, different kinds of Spongebob candies over the years, or like Mario candies. Merchandise stuff. And then there's like, um, a video about like, international dub themes, which is pretty cool. It's another favorite. Peachette's just killing it. Okay, we got... I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I agree. They are quite charming. Oh, yeah. Frickin', they have DX for Dixie Kong. Which I get. But you would never believe the frickin' initial Spunky Kong has. What? You're not, you don't, you don't, you're not big on play? Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, that's fair. Tails, Tails has some really good plushies. I know that. I used to have a cute classic Tails one I really liked. I had one when I was like 11. Red Yoshi has some great plushies. Spyro, I don't really know. I don't really see Spyro all the time. If I see Spyro, it's usually like action figures and stuff for like Funko Pops. 
Which, I mean, they exist, I guess. I mean, they're fine. They're just... Yeah. I mean, I don't hate Funko Pops, but I don't like them most of the time either. They're alright. Um, what else we got? Frickin' here, um... Oh, yeah. Mario Kart emblems. I should just... Get that real quick. Funky Kong. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh yeah, freaking DK Barrel. Hold up. Let me just get a picture of this. Honestly, I like you choose. It's like Funko Pops, but better. Actually, I got one for Christmas, and it's really, it's really special. It's, it's beautiful, actually. I mean, look at him. It's Squidward. The handsome Squidward. He's magical. I keep him on my table. Bro, the Conqueror one is really cool. I agree. Bruh. Um, freaking what else? What else do we got here? Oh, yeah. I wanted to add the picture. But... Okay, here. Frickin' Bunky Kong's barrel symbol. Go ask a man his salary. Go ask a woman her salary, etc., etc., meme. Don't ask Bunky Kong his freaking barrel initials. <laughs> <laughs> the frickin' fuck barrel. <laughs> Over here. Bruh, why would you do this, Funky Kong? How could you? <laughs> uh, okay, um... What else do we got here? Oh yeah, I was saying that because I saw Dixie Kong as being DX. I forgot why I was even talking about it. Okay, we got Dixie. Dixie's cool. I wish I saw plushies of her. Or something. I would probably get a Dixie Kong plush. I only see Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong plushes. Usually. Yeah, it's um... It's artwork from Tropical Freeze on Switch. It kind of looks... Like one of those images you'd see on like... Fantendo.com. But no, it's real. Like that they gave him purple. I feel like that kind of fits somehow. Also, for some reason, Diddy Kong's barrel initials are freaking DD. Like, I get it, kind of, but, like, you can just use DK again, but, like, it's just, it's kind of weird. Same thing with DX. Like, I don't know. I guess it's fine. They didn't have anything else they could do, but, I mean, I don't know, I guess. Now, so this track's cool. I like it. The fact that it has two different laps is pretty cool. This car it looks like one of those classic, like, speed racer kind of things. Like, something you'd see in, like, wacky races or something. Like, a really old kind of, like, race car. I guess you could say. Why did they add a freaking Tiny Kong to this game? Tiny Kong's cool. Also, hey there, Rain. How you doing? Good to see ya. I mean, that's fair. I collect a lot of stuff, too, so... Pretty good today, actually. 
playing a lot of Mario Kart, and then uh, in a little bit I'm gonna play Super Mario 3 on Mario All-Stars to, to, you know, complete the collection and beat all the games in it. I would play Super Mario World as well as a part of it, but I'm saving that for a little bit later. Because I also have Mario 64 planned, and it just doesn't seem like there's a ton of Super Mario World representation in the movie. And I'm kind of just doing a bunch of this stuff to hype up the movie. So any game that has some kind of correlation to the movie in a major enough way, I'm gonna do. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of, like... I don't know. That kind of stuff. Like, nothing, not, not a lot Mario World other than Yoshi exists in the movie, as far as I can tell. They mostly have references to the Ape games in 64 so far. Because, like, they have a lot of the stuff in, like, the Toad Town. Like, little references, like the frickin' music box from Mario 3, and, like, different items, and, like, Toad Houses. Um, stuff like that. And then you have the frickin', like, Tanuki suit, which appears in one of the scenes. So that's also cool. Also, this map's awesome. I'm glad they added it to the game. Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 looks awesome. I mean, is awesome. I'd like to eventually play it for a stream or something, maybe one time. I could, like, check out all the booster courses or something, and the DLC tracks, because... Actually, you know, I could just do, like, a video of me playing through all the frickin' cups or something in Mario Kart 8. That would, like, take a while, but that'd be pretty cool. I could do, like, 150cc or something. Maybe I could do that eventually, if they're, like, hyping up Mario Kart 9, whenever that comes out. I mean, that is revealed. I usually like to do my streams when it's, like, hyping when I'm, like, something new is coming out and I want to play other things to, like, hype myself up for it. I used to do that kind of thing when I wasn't streaming, too. Like, for example, I, like, played all Insane Trilogy and also all the PS1 versions of the games in the Crash Insane Trilogy when Crash 4 was coming out in October. For example, so I did stuff like that too. Not a stream exclusive thing. I kind of just do stuff like that, but yeah, I like to just play a bunch of games in a series and then be like, "Yo," when the new one comes out. Anyway, I guess that's it for the Mario Kart stream today. Was a little, you know, about average of the non Gold Pass stream lengths, but. I'm going to be right back in a second because I'm going to play Mario Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Super Mario All-Star, um, you know, the Super Nintendo game. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a good one. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave a follow and check out my uh, Discord channel on the Twitch sidebar thing. I mean Discord server. A lot of cool people in there. And always looking to grow a community. And also, I have a YouTube channel where all these streams are saved. Same channel name. Got a lot of Super Mario games on the air. Splatoon, Castlevania, Kingdom Hearts, and a bunch of Sonic games. So, if all that stuff sounds pretty cool to you, you can check that out too. Anyway, have yourselves a good one everyone. And I'll see you in Super Mario 3 in like a little bit. Like 10 minutes, basically. Maybe less.